Let's build a one pound black powder core burn rocket with a clay nozzle. We're going to be using a 60, 30, 10 black powder. So that's 60 parts potassium nitrate, 30 parts charcoal and 10 parts sulfur that we've ball milled for three hours. We've then added two parts moisture. In this case, it's going to be water to that black powder and we've screened it half a dozen times. Today, we're gonna to be using the Firesmith one pound tube support the Firesmith one pound super beefy core burn rocket tooling and the Firesmith one pound tube extender, spindle remover, and also our 14.4 ton extra tall portable pyro press. Let's open up our one pound tube support. Just unscrew these knobs. And the clamping bars come right off. Two halves split, you drop in an empty tube, put the two halves back together, and put our clamping bars back on. And again, we're just going to tighten these finger tight, we don't need to crank these down. We're going to set this entire assembly onto our spindle. We're going to add two scoops of clay for our nozzle mix, and this is just powdered bentonite clay. insert our number one rammer and put the entire assembly into our press. Now we need to make sure that this no pass line doesn't dip down below the top of our tube support. If this line goes under our tube or into our tube support, that means we're going to actually be smashing metal on metal and we don't want to do that. Put the entire assembly in our press. Try to press on down. We've already got our relief pressure set. And we're putting 9,000 PSI on the comp. Now we want our nozzle, now we want our nozzle to be a little bit taller. So we're going to add one more teaspoon of clay to get the correct height. We want that nozzle to be about half the ID. So in this case, we want that nozzle to be about three eighths of an inch tall. One more scoop of clay. Our number one rammer. Stick the entire assembly back into our press. No pass line is about three eighths of an inch above the top of our tube. That means our nozzle height is where we want it to be. So now we're gonna switch over to black powder. All right, so now we're ready to start using black powder. Again, this is our 60, 30, 10 with 2% moisture added. Two level teaspoons is a good increment size for one pound motor. Continue working with our number one rammer. Okay, and that's pressed nice and easy to 9,000 PSI. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is when you're working with rockets, every time you press an increment of fuel, there's going to be a little bit of fuel that gets caught up inside the bore of the rammer. So it's important that we clean that out. This is just a brass rod, and all we have to do, this is just a brass rod, it's a rammer cleaner. All we have to do is stick it in the bore of the rammer, rotate the rammer, pull the cap in it. And this is going to get rid of any of that extra fuel that's caught up in the bore of the rammer. It's very important that you do that each and every single increment of fuel. So two more level teaspoons. Still using our number one rammer. And 
going to go ahead and clean out the board of our rammer again. And two more level teaspoons. Now you'll notice that the swap out line is at the top of our tube support. That means it's time to change to our next size smaller rammer. So two more level teaspoons. Got our number two rammer. Go ahead and stick that in our tube. Put the entire assembly into our press. Two more increments and we'll be done with this rammer. Again, we're going to clean it out. And again, we're putting 9,000 PSI on our fuel grain. Not quite ready to switch out to our next size smaller rammer just yet. So one more increment with our number two rammer. Again, we're going to clean out the rammer. Two level teaspoons of black powder. Now our note or our swap out line is almost at the top of our tube. It's close enough that we can go ahead and switch to our next size smaller ramp. So another two teaspoons. Now we're using our number three rammer. With rocket building, it's a lot of repetitive operations. We're doing the same things over and over again. 
The only thing we're really changing between different types of motors is the fuel that we're using. So again, we're going to clean out the board of this rammer. Add another two teaspoons. And a couple more increments and we'll be done with this rammer. notch in the pressing shelf makes centering this entire tool set underneath the piston absolutely foolproof. So again, cleaning out our rammer if there's any fuel caught up in there. Two more teaspoons of black powder fuel. And one more increment with this rammer. Now we're done with our number three rammer and we're ready to switch over to our slot lid rammer. We are now packing fuel above the spindle. When we switch over to our solid rammer, we're starting to lose a lot of space at the top of our tube. So we're going to use a tube extender to help compress all the loose fuel into the tube before we actually press it. So we sit the tube extender on top of our tube support, stick our funnel on top of the tube extender, and grab our two scoops of black powder fuel. Then we're gonna take the solid rammer and just pass it on through the tube extender. That's gonna push all that loose fuel into the tube so we can press it. increment and then we're going to have a completed motor. Now we have a completed black powder motor with a clay nozzle. 
So let's go ahead and pull the motor out of our tube support. It snugs up a bit when you're working with it. So you're going to have to come in here with a hex key and just loosen these knobs. And it really only takes a couple of turns to completely loosen the tube support. We're also going to remove the base from our spindle. Now, the tube support has a couple notches in the side of it. We just got to pop it apart. The tube's going to stay stuck, stuck in one side of the tube support. That's just the way it always is. We can use our solid rammer, stick it into the top of the motor, and just pop it out of the tube support. It comes out really easy. So now we've got our spindle that's actually stuck inside our motor tube. Again, we've been pressing all this fuel to 9,000 PSI. So we're going to use our spindle remover to actually pull the spindle out of the motor. So we take the spindle remover, put it over the base of the motor. We use a longer screw that's included with the spindle remover and we screw the entire assembly back into the base. Snug it up, give it a couple of turns, and that spindle puller pops our spindle straight out of our motor. And that's it. We've got a clay nozzle, black powder, core burn rocket motor.